The university's pediatric clinic number three here in Essen is one of the biggest centers for children's oncology in Germany. We offer all therapy options, from chemotherapy to stem cell transplantation, for leukemia, tumors, hematological diseases and immune defects. We put a special emphasis on seeing the patient as a whole, not just the child, but the entire family. We work as a multidisciplinary team. Along with nurses, we employ psychotherapists, art therapists, psychologists, tutors, teachers. I brought you a few things for school, as usual. We need to respond well to the psychological and physical needs of the patients. I need to be a caregiver for the children. They need to develop trust in me, talk to me about their fears and problems. The child needs to be somewhat comfortable. We try to help with art therapy, play therapy, not only for the child, but for the whole family. Just try a few dots or lines. The paint will do it for you. My main focus is to improve the quality of life in the hospital for children, patients and relatives during those difficult times. When we built the station, we asked children and teenagers how a stem cell transplantation ward should look for them to be comfortable. Almost everyone's main point was that they didn't want those typical white walls, but they couldn't agree on a color, so we had to look for a solution, and we do it with light. The patient can control the color of his room with a remote control, change it as he or she sees fit. Your transplantation was 10 years ago. Can you still remember it? What was important for you? Well, the big problems, like whether you survive or not, were not that important for me. What mattered were short-term things. Am I in pain? Do I have something to do? Am I bored? These were the problems that mattered since I was only eight years old. Back then, you were a big help in planning the new stem cell transplantation ward. What do you like best in the new station? A lot of the small details. For example, that there are even more gadgets, more gaming consoles, so you can have fun even if you are not feeling well. The room is equipped with a PC and gaming consoles, so the patient's able to access child-oriented information about medical procedures. You can also use the PC to communicate with your normal social environment. Here I can also Skype with friends and family. That is part of the therapy and not just incidental or an add-on. It contributes to the success of the treatment. The family is a crucial part of the team for us, much more than it is in the case of other hospitals. We as parents feel looked after. We always have a reference person. There's a lot of support. We can sleep in the parents' house. It gives extra strength to the patients, knowing that they're not alone, that their parents are just around the corner. For me, it's important that we have an open and honest communication with the parents and patients, no matter what their age is. How did it feel to know you need a transplantation? At first I was just scared. That was the first thing I felt. But the fear was gone after we had our pre-operation discussion about the stem cell transplantation. That's unique for the patient, that there's so much dedication to help them on their difficult journey. I think we are unique when it comes to the collaboration between the laboratory, the clinic and the families. The direct application of our research in the clinic and also the support of the clinic is a great feeling. Our collaboration is what makes the difference in the end. So healthy children can go home and continue their normal lives and their normal development. The treatment is a heavy burden for the children, for the whole family. They're isolated for a long time. 
That's why we as a team make an effort to guide the children through therapy. It's not only about offering the best possible therapy, but also about having a holistic concept about supporting the children and families.